Hi, this is Gail. Welcome to my channel. We're going to do an unboxing tonight of a new computer I just bought. You can expect to find unboxings, travel, camper van life, DIY, and some really great videos of the world's cutest service dog. I want to invite you to subscribe to the channel so you'll get all the latest and make sure you click that bell down there because that's how you get the notifications. The unboxing that I'm doing tonight is on the Ins Dell Inspirion 11 right there so you can see it. I picked this up at Walmart. It was $329.359 with tax. The Dell Inspirion 11 3000 series model 3168 it's got an 11.6 inch screen. Let's do the unboxing. I figure I'll get it unboxed. Then I'll come back and I'll do a review on it. So, here we go. Okay, Dell and Spirion laptop unboxing. Here we go. This is the 11.6 inch laptop. Safety sealing is intact. Nice little note from Dell on the inside flap saying that they are here to help. There we go. Looks well padded inside, that's for sure, which is just what you want to see. Okay. Got my papers, the all-important silica gel. And da, 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 da. charger and cord. My charger and my laptop. Bright red. I'm so excited. I wanted red to separate it from my other computers that I have at a separated at a glance. Let's see where it turns on. Here we are. And let's see if this can turn on. The on button here is on the side. And nothing is happening. I was hoping there would be at least enough battery in this to boot up. But there's not. So let me go charge it and I'll see you shortly. So it's been plugged in. And now we're going through the initial boot up process. Hopefully this won't take long. It is just, it's just a few minutes after nine. We'll see how long this takes for the initial boot up. And it's still booting up. Now we are at the just a moment screen. Here we go. You can use your voice or the keyboard along the way. And if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the sound icon. We're back to just a moment. Your region is set go. to the United States. Is that right? Yes. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? No. This isn't so bad so far. Next up, the legal stuff. Of it's course. Yours. You have to accept to use Windows. You can decline, but then, you know, no Windows. Yes, I accept. Now let's get you connected to a network. How about the first one on the list? This would be where I come back in a few minutes after I put in my password. Now we'll check for any updates. And this is where it'll probably get real slow for... Hang tight while we get them installed. Okay, it's talking me through it. This is the time now for beginning of the installation. We'll see Don't how long... Off your device, please. It'll mess things up. We'll see how long it takes. Don't turn off your device, please. It'll mess things up. Okay, we won't. We'll just pet the dog. Done and done. You're up to date. So I've entered my email address, and now it is asking for me to set up a pin, which I've gone ahead and typed in. There we go. It looks like it took it that time. It's next step. Would you like to automatically save your files and photos to OneDrive? No. Now, I don't want to use OneDrive because I like hey, having look, everything on the, me part of the computer. Can I have so, permission here we to go. use the info I need to do my best work? I'll go ahead and walk through this personal assistant stuff and let you have an idea of the time it takes me to get it done. It is about 9.17 right now. These are the settings Microsoft recommends. Go ahead and review them and select accept when you're ready. 
it has walked me through a couple of screens here, but let me show you the support and protection section. It's add-ons like this that you may want to watch out for. This is for support and protection. Uh, configure your support protection and communication preferences. My information is correct. Now that's referring to the previous screens. Um, and it's got the links for the Dell privacy policy. But if you look right in between, it says, use my information to register my McAfee security subscription, receive subscription expiration, email reminders, and a digital subscription key card to protect multiple devices. Now, I don't need a McAfee subscription, so I actually had to go in and uncheck this box. If I hadn't unchecked this box, then I would have just signed up for a McAfee subscription that I do not need or want. So careful of little things like that when you go to start any computer or electronic device. Watch for those add-ons. Okay, that's the last step. We need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. There we go. Now let's see what else they mean by polished up. We're moving a little farther. Now, interestingly enough, it has gone ahead and pulled my background picture, which belonged to me. It was not one of the ones automatically loaded on the computer. It went ahead and pulled my background picture from my other computer onto here. Okay. So now, after going through those steps, now I have a three gig update Getting it ready, downloading Windows 10 update to ensure things go smoothly. Keep your PC plugged in. Don't turn off your PC or close it. Percent complete, zero. All right, we're just gonna let it do its thing again here for a while. Um, this is what the magic watch says at this point. And it's still at 0%. This might take forever to get done. We're just going to let it do its thing. I'm going to go play with the dog some more. And we'll just give it some space. Almost there, Tomlin. The computer's booting up as quickly as possible. I'm just going to leave it alone for a while. It's past my bedtime. So I will come back to this in the morning. I'll check with you first thing in the morning. I came in here to see if the computer was ready around 8 o'clock. This literally has been downloading and updating all night. Came in this morning to check on it and had one more update to take care of at about 10.30 and the computer is updated except the time on the computer says 9.40. So the next thing I get to do is figure out how to set the time on this because it doesn't want to go on the internet with the time wrong. All you do is come down to the date and time, right click, scroll up to where it says adjust date and time. The window opens and then you just look at the props here and change the time zone or whatever you need to do to change the date and time. Okay, so that's all there is to it. It took a while, but it's worth it. Now, if you like the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell for all the instant notifications on all the updates on the channel. Thanks for watching and we've got Tomlin up right now and we'll see you out about and online. Bye. Come on, Tomlin. Get it. Where'd it go? Oh my. Get it. Get it, boy. There you go. Good dog.